Hey guys, just before this video starts, if any of you guys are looking to buy or sell any cheap Rocket League credits, blueprints, items, basically anything you want, AOEAH is a third party website that buys and sells Rocket League items. If you want to check it out, use the link in the description and use code XYZ on your checkout for 6% off your order. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to test my luck again. I know, I know. I'm putting my luck to the test. Um, and lately, lately I haven't, I haven't done many crate openings. It's been a, it's been a few weeks. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to, to take a little bit of a throwback back to the golden, mm, which one do I want to do? You know what, we're going to do Golden Egg 19, because we can get Painted Black Markets from this crate. But what I wanted to do as a test, I was originally going to do just, if I can't get a Black Market in 100 crates, then I would give away a White Mainframe. But I wanted to up the up the levels. So if I can't get a Painted Mainframe, or a Painted Black Market, I'm giving away a White Mainframe to one of you viewers. The, the giveaway will be free to enter in my discord server the link is in the description free to enter we're starting at 3080 of these crates left and yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna see we're just gonna see if we can get a painted black market in 100 crates we're really gonna test my luck here because as you guys know my painted black market luck compared to some other youtubers is not that good yeah, Pick a Pixel's just really lucky. I don't I don't know how to explain it sometimes. But we're gonna be putting my my luck to the test today, seeing if I can get one. And who knows? If I can't, if I can't get a painted black market in today's episode, one of you guys is walking away with a free titanium white mainframe. The giveaway will be up for an entire seven days, a whole week from when this video goes live, so I mean you guys have plenty of time to go and enter. Um, the giveaway will be for all platforms, no, nothing to worry about guys, no matter what platform you're on, you can win the giveaway, I know some other giveaways, they've had to be PC only, because the items are on PC, but as you guys know, I can just get a, I can get a white mainframe on any platform pretty easily, uh, from AOA, AOEAH.com, they're the best sponsors around, uh, you can get super cheap, uh, painted black markets, painted import bodies, wheels, credits, Literally any single item in the game you can get from them, and uh, it's relatively cheap, so hey, why not? I think a white mainframe, I don't actually know what they're going for right now, but usually they aren't they aren't crazy expensive right now. Ever since they hit the item shop a couple months back, they their price has been lowered quite a bit, so they are quite affordable now, which is nice, which is nice. The, uh, the white octanes, though, they've been going back up in price. Everyone is, is skeptical right now. Because there, there's just, it's so questionable on whether or not Epic Games is going to end up putting them in the shop. Like, I understand people's argument when when some people are like, no, they're a non-crate item, they can't be in the shop. I understand when people say that, but the other side of me knows how much, like, how much Epic Games likes to make money, you know? So it's like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if for Christmas or something, they did some Christmas special where... There's white octane and black dicey in the shop, like, oof. And you guys are probably wondering, X, why are you wearing sunglasses? You're inside, and it's, it's dark out. It's dark outside. You guys probably think I'm an idiot. Well, yes, I am. But I'm wearing my signed Mr. Beast sweatshirt, or not sweatshirt, uh, t-shirt. I just have a sweatshirt underneath it to kind of, kind of make it look nice. Uh, but yeah, I got my signed Mr. Beast merch on, so I'm already cool. I just had to add to the cool factor, you know? Gotta, gotta wear some shades to match the outfit. I don't know. I, I, I just saw the sunglasses sitting on my desk, and I was like, hey, why not? I'll throw them on. And, uh, here we are. Here we are. We're, uh, 22 crates in. Haven't even gotten a single painted exotic yet. Not looking too good for us. Not looking too good for us. Um, but I wanted to ask you guys. I think, I think in the next couple of days I'm gonna post a video. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be having my girlfriend look at like 20 different Rocket League items and trying to guess their price. So I, I want you guys to let me know in the comments what items 
should I have her guess? Because I, I want, like, I want to chuck in one of the, the alpha items in there. A few really expensive items, and then also, like, a few really cheap items that look cool. So give me some ideas in the comments on what are some cool-looking items, but are still relatively cheap. So it can kind of throw her off a little bit. It's it's all just for fun. And there we go, some Titanium White Exotics. Titanium White Kalos is such a great wheel. Who knows, maybe one of those... Uh, Maybe we could use the Titanium White Kalos for that video. But give me some ideas in the comments of what items I should use for that. What do you guys think will be funny to use? Um, are there any really uh, trash looking items that are really expensive? Like, I'm for sure going to throw the Beta Nugget in there. Because, like, it's it shouldn't be worth how, as much as it is right now. But, I mean, hey, it's it's a rare item. So, that's why it's worth so much. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Uh, what other items should I should I throw in there? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out in the next couple of days. But your suggestions in the comments are appreciated. Because I, I just need some I need some good ideas for that video. Because I want it to be a really funny and interesting video for everyone involved. And obviously she she isn't a gamer, so she's probably not gonna know how much certain items are worth. I mean, she knows my Rocket League car when I equip all the alpha items. She knows that the most expensive car that I can make is worth more than my real life car. <laughs> so she does know that some items are worth quite a bit of money, but she she's never seen me play Rocket League. I guess she watches some of my videos. So I, I hope she's not watching this one, because about the time this video is being posted, I should be picking her up tomorrow. So, um, Micah, if you're watching this, hi, how are you doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, that would be awkward if she's just playing this video in the car when I'm, I'm going up to, to pick her up and I'm bringing her back to my house uh, tomorrow for the Packers game. As you guys may or may not know, I am a Packers fan. That there, There's a game, it should be today when this is getting posted, but it's tomorrow for me right now. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Packers are doing pretty well this season. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm feeling a Super Bowl this season. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it right now, guys. It's going to happen. All my European and Australian fans probably have no idea what I'm talking about. The Packers are a, a football team, an American football team. I, I should specify that out of respect because I know in Australia and in Europe, football means soccer. So, you, you gotta respect cultural differences and explain things sometimes. But yeah, I mean, I'm really excited for this season. Like, I don't know why, it's just, maybe it's the fact that I'm in college and I just enjoy spending more time with my friends and stuff, but I've been watching a lot more football than I have in the past, which is, is kind of weird, because you'd think in college I'd be super busy with stuff, but nah, I, I find time somehow for all the all the games. Well, all the Packers games, that is. I don't watch everything else. I watch some other games, but mainly just the Packers games. And man, Aaron Rodgers has been doing great this season. It's just been really fun to watch this year. And I'm, I'm feeling special. I'm feeling something special about this season, man. I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know. It's just... it's. I just feel good about it. But I do not feel good about this crate opening. We are 50 crates through now, 51 crates in, and uh, not a single black market even. Like, come on, we need a painted black market. We, we need to get one today. All we've gotten is titanium white callos so far, which would have been really great to get like a, I think you can get painted singularities. I think mainframes are in here. Imagine we got a white mainframe in this video. The, ch the, the video where I'm, I'm challenged to either pull a painted black market or give you guys a titanium white mainframe. Oh, that would that'd be hilarious if I got a white mainframe. <laughs> oh, maybe? Maybe it's gonna happen. Who knows? Titanium white discotheque trail. Okay. A lot of titanium white items today. That's uh, something, something interesting. It could be a sign. It could be a sign. I would hope. I would hope it is a sign because that would be great. That'd be great. Endo show off. Should I do a video? So I, I've been debating this, guys. I need to ask you. Let me know in the comments. Should I do a video of uh, 
having my girlfriend play Rocket League. <laughs> Cause she she's not a gamer, so like I don't I don't know if she would really enjoy it and I don't know if I should just you know, ask her if she wants to and see what she says, or if I should just try to get her to, to play some Rocket League. We got some black roulettes, not bad. Uh, but yeah, just let me know what you guys think about that, because um, I think that would be an interesting video. I think it would be an interesting video. You know, there's there's just a lot of fun content. Like, I could open up some crates with her. I could I could do a little crate war against her. Imagine, imagine she just destroys me in crate luck. Oh, if that happened, I'd have to retire. I would actually have to retire if that happened. I don't think I would be able to continue. Cause, I mean... As long as it's not trade-ups that I'm getting destroyed, and I guess I'm fine. Because I'm not the crate king, that's pick a pixel. I'm the trade-up king, we all know that. Except for the fact that trade-ups got removed from the game, yeah. That was, that was a good day. That was really fun, I was like, oh, great. Trade-ups getting removed. Yep. It was not very... Not very fun. It was not very bueno. Man, thinking back, like, that was... Like, how, ma how many months ago was that? That was so long ago to think about that now. And it feels like it was just the other day. It's just, man, ever since COVID hit, and everything's been, like, pretty much slowed down. Like, everything just feels like time just went like that, you know? Feels like time just whizzed past us. And I think we've been in, uh, we've been dealing with COVID now for seven months. Seven months. Can you guys believe that? Feels like just a few weeks ago, uh, my friends and I were playing basketball and we got the, uh, the notification that school was canceled for two weeks. And we thought, oh, it's just two weeks. Great. We literally left that basketball court and we're, and I was like, hey, See you guys in two weeks. Have fun on the break. A and then we ne we never went back to school. I, I never I haven't seen those guys since, bro. Uh, like obviously we texted and stuff, but like that's just kind of sad. It's like oh we were expecting just to be to be gone for two weeks. No, we haven't seen each other since. <laughs> oh jeez. Well. Hopefully, it could seem that uh, by the end of this school year, looks like everything will be mostly finished up. Like the, it, from what it sounds like, the estimations, uh, the vaccine should be out in the next couple of months, and uh, hopefully, it should be distributed to everyone within six months of when it gets released. So it looks by it looks like by next summer, we we should be getting the world back to a normal situation as long as everything goes according to plan obviously you know hindsight in the future you know things may not go to plan who knows we we just don't know at this point but i would like to hope that we can get back to having rlcs lan events like ah oh, those going to rlcs is such a fun experience like i'd recommend it to anybody watching if you guys obviously if you can't afford it, it's not like don't just go just to go. If if you have spare funds, a few hundred bucks spare, to pay for a plane ticket and a hotel for the weekend, and you know the RLCS tickets, I'd recommend going. It's very fun. I went only to one RLCS event. I was planning to go to the next one, but then COVID hit, obviously, so there wasn't one over the summer, and then there wasn't one uh, that even got planned. Uh, for this winter because of covid so i'm not sure if we're gonna have one by next summer i'd like to hope that we will but at least by next winter i would i would expect that we'll have another rlcs event like that would that would be really fun to go to i'm definitely going to be there so long as the channel is still doing well and i'm enjoying rocket league i will 100 percent be there if for some reason something big happens where i don't know I mean, obviously, I can't see the future, but, you know, for some odd reason, if my channel dies out of nowhere, who knows? Maybe I won't be able to keep Rocket League as a job, and I wouldn't be able to go to RLCS, but I'd love to be able to go to RLCS and meet a bunch of you guys. Um, I know last time, it was before I did a face reveal, like, literally that RLCS, um, that RLCS event was my face reveal. Like, that's kind of crazy to me. 
to think about that. Like, that was my face reveal back then. Oh, jeez, that was so long ago. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't imagine life without a face cam now. It's just weird, I guess, how things change so fast. So, now that you guys all know what I look like, next RLCS that's in person, I will definitely be having a meetup, taking pictures, signing stuff for you guys. I don't even have merch. Like, what am I going to sign? <laughs> Someone last time asked me to sign their controller. Um, it was a few people that I, like, I knew, like, trading buddies and stuff. Um, he'd asked me to sign his controller. <laughs> Which is funny to think back of, but, like, he got a bunch of pros to sign it. A few other YouTubers, like Phantom Ace. Um, I don't remember if he got TryHard to sign it. Uh, but, yeah, I had... I have way back... You guys probably can't see it on my dresser back there but I have one of the uh, the toy the zag toy Rocket League balls and I got it signed by a bunch of pros and uh, mr. tryhard when I met him and uh, Phantom Ace, Athena you know as many people as I could as I could meet it was fun oh and that was the 101st crate I was caught talking so much that uh, yeah we didn't even get a single black market so one of you guys is walking away with a titanium white mainframe from the giveaway link in the description to my discord server it's free to enter uh it'll be on the hashtag giveaways page once you enter the the discord server all you're gonna have to do is click a little um reaction emoji underneath the message that'll say like titanium white mainframe giveaway it's, it'll literally be that simple and you'll be entered to win and the winner will be picked seven days from when this uh video goes live so i hope you guys all enjoyed take care see you next time peace out